Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land, Place of Binding Minds after birth. 12 wins in a row. Let's make it lucky number 13. What could go wrong? <laughs> we actually have great starting stats, it feels like. 3 2 W Y E F 7 Y. Um, damage. And I'm not sure if this is rate of fire or shot speed, but it feels like rate of fire is really good. Um, I want to test something with the jar. Okay. I We have car battery, so I was really hoping. Yeah, Dead Eye is good enough. We have car battery, so I was really hoping that maybe um, the way that this actually worked is like if we picked up a heart, it became two hearts inside of the jar, thanks to that item. But uh, unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be the case, which is a real bummer because now the jar is effectively like what it always is, which is not particularly good. Um, but it's at least safekeeping if we can find some red hearts and then, you know, put them away. Um, it, it really lowers the chance of us dying if we're gonna find ourselves in that position to begin with, so we might as well pick it up, I guess, but really any other space bar item that provides us with a benefit, uh, is going to be awesome with car battery. And, uh, several specifically are really good with car battery. Like Diplopia, for example, or Krampus's head, which is what we've defined, like, our last, uh, several runs by, apparently, is Krampus's head usage, but, um, there is a tinted rock I'd really like to actually access it because going to the next floor with a spirit heart it, I'm not gonna say that we're guaranteed success right now but it gives us a great chance of success uh, to go down there with a spirit heart or alternatively with small rock that's also fine by me uh, and I, I believe in that so much that I will probably actually I know I could play the self-sacrifice room but it's it's so risky for like not even a good reason um, I'm trying to find out where those poops were not these ones not these ones, they must be over here now. Um, where the heck did the... There we go, room full of poops, this is what I was looking for. Um, shoot these, get some extra money, maybe make our shop even more worthwhile than it already is, but I'm hoping to buy a bomb, even more so than buying a spirit heart, because we can get a bomb and a key out of it, we can get two spirit hearts, etc, etc. Uh, unfortunately, there's neither. So we took a shot in the dark, we got the sun, which is nice, we could have bought a key though instead, so... I don't know, not fantastic, but also not terrible. Kind of just a wash there, it was like a morally, or uh, in terms of quality, an ambiguous sort of uh, shop there, but, you know, relatively good. And Deadeye is just doing so much for us. I was looking into like, I'll take Blood Clot, nothing wrong with that. I was looking into like, maybe we want to uh, find ourselves in a position where we're re-rolling Deadeye in order to get better shit. I don't think that's a smart idea. I think uh, Deadeye is the good shit. And I'm happy to have it. So definitely we'll use the sun card. Uh, we might as well use it to clear a room. You never know if it's going to be the room that's going to fuck us. Um, hilariously, it provided us with no benefit. And then I got hit. That's on me. But still, that hurts. Um, two bombs does allow us to get into our shop. Or sorry, our item room. Uh, we'll probably just take damage to go into our curse room. Because who cares, basically, about losing one red heart at this point? Okay, maybe we should. <laughs> Okay, well, that's one way to handle it. We did get our spirit art back. There's still a chance that a deal with the devil is, uh, unfortunately low as it may be. Okay, that's also very good. That's our second luck upgrade, and we are now above 15 cents, or at 15 cents or above. So we can go to our shop. Fat Odd Mushroom is pretty dope. It would be really nice if I would stop walking into the fires and taking damage for effectively literally zero reason, but... I, I almost can't be mad with how it's gone so far. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm not actually mad because I'm an adult, but uh, beyond that, it just seems like this floor, we took a little bit of red heart damage, but the game, it did us solid. And I don't mean in like a intercorsical sort of way. I mean in a, um, you know, in a, you know, you own a truck, help me move, and then if you need me to cover for you when you, you know, get a DUI or something like that, I can do your work at a reduced legal fee, etc. etc. You know, it's the kind of small town hijinks that this run's dabbling in right now. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming on. It's... Don't, don't leave me. I want this sneeze. I desire this sneeze. The, the sneeze is a feeling of satisfaction and relief that I didn't even know I needed until just now. Okay, we will take Wiggle Worm. That's like a, a really poor haul out of a bomb and a key for a Tinted Rock, but it's gonna look funny regardless. It's actually probably fairly destructive as, as far as synergies go, um, because we really want to hit as much as possible as a result of Deadeye, or we want to rather not miss as much as possible, but still. We can go to our shop, we got more than 15 cents. But let's see if we get a deal with the devil here. 
If we get a deal with the devil here, the game has really done us a solid, even if the deal with the devil is hot trash. You know, we didn't deserve a deal with the devil. If we get one, life's good. Ooh, lucky us. Okay, so we get a range upgrade. Alrighty, we'll take Goathead. We'll take Abaddon. Our damage is gonna be amazing now, and we got, you know, Fear Shot. Guaranteed deals with the devil, these are solid things. Might as well make our way to our shop, and our goal for that shop, or our hope for that shop, is gonna be something like Black Candle. Or, a really awesome spacebar item that benefits from car battery. And I'll, I'll let you decide what those are. Recycle is also fine if we can get the money. Lebowski. Um, let's stick with what we got here. Damage is super sorted for the remainder of the run. We don't really have sorted defense. We still need to dodge, which has been a problem for me on this floor for whatever reason. But uh, it's it's a good setup right now. Yeah, we really couldn't ask for more, especially considering we have deal with the devil precedent and the goat head pickup. So, are we getting win thirteen? I would say it looks pretty likely right now. Of course, anything can happen, but but so far so good. We. Couldn't have asked for too much more uh, this early on. I mean, we guess you might as well pick up some hearts to put in the jar. You can only put four in the jar at a time. But still, if we get Dark Bomb or something, that's uh, that's valuable. I always love when you can get a deal with the Devil item that gives you HP. It just makes your life that much easier. So we're looking for consumables, basically of any sort here. And, you know, bombs might be a little bit lower priority than keys, but I'm not going to turn up my nose at them. We need them. I really can't stress enough, Deadeye... I, I feel like when people talk about Afterbirth, there actually is, I'm not saying that people are negative about it, but people were really impressed by Rebirth, and I think a lot of people with Afterbirth, they're like, ah, they sort of went in a direction that wasn't like as much what I wanted. For what it's worth, I think Afterbirth is awesome, and I, I love playing it, I love most of the additions that it's added to the game. Some of the stuff that it's taken away, I, I sort of shake my head at, like looping on the chests with Undefined. It's so weird that that's out of the game. I don't know why, maybe it was actually like an engineering concern. Like if we put this item in the game, then we have to get rid of looping or it won't work from a technical standpoint. Like I don't know really, right? Um, but still, uh, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, what I was gonna say is one of the things that I really love about uh, Afterbirth is Deadeye. Deadeye is a really cool item. This is an Afterbirth item, right? I believe so. Um, this is one of the cooler mechanics, and I think it's like, it's a transformative item in a way that's not just like, hey, you know, all of a sudden you're doing ten times more damage. Like, you actually have to put some work into it. It's kind of like a, an Onan streak, but it's always good for you. You know, the worst case scenario is you're doing the same damage you were doing, you know, the, the, at the start of the room. Um, but yeah, I mean, Afterbirth, I haven't really kept up with the, the critical perception of it, but... Whenever there's like a, like an Edmund post is in a game subreddit, subreddit or something like that, people are like, I really hope it reverts to some of the changes um, or some of the design philosophies at least of uh, of Rebirth because Afterbirth has kind of compromised those to some extent. I'd be interested to know more about that. I, I don't necessarily disagree, by the way. But I, I wonder how much of that, for me personally, isn't uh, because there's like a little bit of a Rebirth hangover and Rebirth is like amazing and, and hugely transformative, and then Afterbirth was just sort of like, more, you know? I guess we go Algus here. But I don't know. We'll see how Afterbirth Plus is. I, I still have basically no idea what the hell's going on with it. <laughs> it's not like, I don't mean that in a rude way, like, what the hell's going on? I just mean like, I I know very little about it except, you know, extra character and, and mod support. I'm really excited for the mod support, and if I make geek out for a minute, it's because, you know, it, it's... I, Isaac is written in an object-oriented programming language, so I've been learning object-oriented programming languages, Java and C-sharp specifically, whereas Isaac's written in Lua, but it gives you, like, it's really a lot easier to motivate yourself to learn... Krampus' his head. Uh, it's a lot easier to motivate yourself to learn if you can tie it to a, uh, to a, a real-world, like, personal project, right? So, I'm, I'm kind of excited for that, but for now, let's head down to the next floor. And we'll, we'll keep Algiz. We didn't get a key. Sure, we could have done some more exploring, but... You know, I'm, I'm throwing my hands up in the air sometimes, saying, Ayo, you gotta let go. My name is Tayo Cruz, the song's dynamite. I'm from the year 2010. It's a long time. I can't believe 2010 was six years ago, man. It's not, I mean... I get this it's like it's the passage of time, but here's the you know when you're really young, and by like really young, let's just say between the ages of ten and twenty, 
Young enough to be offended if somebody calls you really young. I'm not trying to suggest you're, you're like a, you know, two-year-old child or an infant or something like that. And, you know, I will admit, you know, there's a big difference between a 10-year-old and a 20-year-old on a lot of different levels. However, between the ages of 10 and 20, you're just like, duh, it's been six years. And you're like, man, I can't believe five years ago I was a child. Now I'm like an adult, 13 to 18 or something like that. You know, or I can't believe, you know, five years ago I was eight, now I'm 13. Like, that's, you, you make a lot of changes there. I am basically roughly the same person on, like, a morphological level that I was um, in 2010. Which is crazy to me. I'm like, man, I can't believe six years have passed. And basically, I'm just, like, a little fatter. Like, the, I mean, I look a little older. Wrinkles are starting to come in. A little chubbier. But apart from that, I'm, like, the same person. Between the age of 15 and 21, you change a lot. Between the age of 21 and 27. You know, that's where the passage of time becomes more interesting for me. I think it's going to wear off in a second here. Um, oh, we did get IV bag, but it's not really that useful. Um, is that, you know, previously you'd be like, wow, I can't believe five years ago I was shitting my pants in kindergarten every day, and now I'm like a big boy. No, now it's like, man, I can't believe six years ago everything was almost exactly the same. And in my case, I mean, that's a good situation. Might not be true for everybody, but that's... When people, you know, you listen to older people talk and they're like, was that really 20 years ago? You're like, how do you forget something that was 20 years ago? That's an incredible length of time. It's because in their head, they're the same person now that they were 20 years ago. You know, you go through um, spiritual growth and mental growth, personality growth, stuff like that. But, you know, you lose those signposts of like, oh, this is the year where I got my first blow, Jay. That's why I'll always remember that album. You know, you, you sort of lose that. It's not a bad thing or a good thing. It's just a thing. All right, well, thank God we went to our item room in our shop on these floors and, and got basically nothing of value whatsoever. Oh, well, we haven't been to the shop yet. We went to the arcade. We know we're getting a deal with the devil here. What do I want from a shop? Uh, maybe converter, actually? I'll take BOGO bombs. I'll take blue map. Oh, and I will definitely take more options. I forgot that we could donate. Um, there's options would be good as well, but I'm not going to really worry about getting the money from it too much. Thank you, car battery. Power pill. Hey, it's a good pill, actually. Um, I'm not going to use it on this room because it's actually deleterious, but I'll use it on the next room for sure. Hopefully, we get HP from the boss or right there. Um, so that I can actually get a deal with the devil. Oh, yeah, so I was just waiting for him to shoot so I could get in there, use power pill with like maximum efficiency. All right. I think that, that fight was actually really strong. Stronger than it even appeared. Take our HP, it's exactly what we wanted, and we didn't get the chance to spend it, but we did get Pandora's box. We're on the caves too? Okay, that's hilarious. I think we should just use Pandora's box right now. Hopefully we get two items? No, we just get the one, so I'm glad I didn't save it hoping for something more, but the speed plus range upgrade is fine. Let's head down here. Wait, was Tyo Cruz Dynamite from 2000? I think it was from 2010, now that I think about it. There's like a four year gap in my understanding of popular music that starts in the year 2010. And I remember Tayo Cruz Dynamite. So that seems fair. Thought that was a chest, it was just a battery. Um, much like, let's talk Isaac for a minute here. You guys want to talk some Isaac with me? This is basically, no they say, finally. Okay, I can quit the series now, but no. Um, we're doing really well. This is basically like a very similar run to the last run. Almost to a fault. Like, we're overpowered. HP's fairly good. Deal with the Devil is only going to make our life easier, honestly. Guppy's Collar, of course, is starting to implant ideas in my head about, you know, getting the Guppy transformation. Like, we're, we're really borderline set on this run. Now, it's the same kind of problem that could befall us that almost befell us on the last run. Or, you know, almost befell us. Might be uh, pushing it a bit. But um, we're... Not at the point where we can just put our foot off the gas and be like, ah, if we take damage, whatever. It doesn't matter. We're lacking defensive items, except, I guess, in a stretch, you could say Guppy's Collar is a defensive item. But, uh, we would definitely benefit from having a little bit of extra defense. But, that can come in time here. For now, we're doing quite nicely. I Actually, let's put it this way. You know, the, the ultimate reason I know this run is good is because we have... Uh, wiggle Worm, and I haven't even noticed. Normally, you're like, if you have bad damage, you're like, oh, shit. 
Wiggle Worm is so annoying. And it's like one of the lesser annoying worms depending on your shot speed, but it's it can still be pretty bad. So for us to have Wiggle Worm and be like, this is fun, is actually like the best endorsement we could possibly have that this run's going well. All right, finally this guy's over here now. Now that definitely like was our secret room back there. If I had to, if I had to take a stab at it, I'd be pretty confident in that. Dude, this is getting a little silly. I'll keep taking the pennies because we have restock. Um, I'm not super invested in a secret room. Like my desire to to explore a floor definitely gets hampered by. Oh, got golden keys. So we should at least check. I was kind of hoping it'd be greed there so we could get some financial leverage. Uh, sure. Let's take Loki's horns. Maybe a. I was gonna say a teleport card, but no such luck. Um, but uh, let, let's see what we can find here. Again, it all comes down to like the speed at which we win this run. If we win this run, comes down to the deal with the devil. If we can get you know a guppy transformation, we're one hundred percent set. It's almost. I think I'm gonna take this as well, just for the extra damage potential. I have to be real with you. Krampus's head car battery is one of the best ways to experience Krampus's head. No jokes about that. We don't talk about Felatio. We're talking Isaac, okay? But shoot the whoop, assuming it actually does get the benefit of like double usage from car battery, is more frequently useful. Is it more useful? I don't know, but more frequently useful for sure. For example, we'd be able to use this on every single wave for boss rush, which is like a genuine interest of mine right now, considering we're uh, about two minutes ahead of schedule on the um, on the floor that boss rush actually occurs on. So. If you're wondering why I took Black Feather, uh, Black Feather, in case you don't know, and you may not because it's a little bit more of a, an esoteric trinket. I actually know this trinket because someone on Reddit was like, you've played this game for how long and you don't even know what Black Feather does? And I was like, I'm mad because you're being kind of a dick about this, but at the same time you're right, but I don't want to learn what it does because if I learn what it does, then that outwardly shows you that you're right. And I try to, you know, be a little bit... I could take the teleporter, but I guess we'll go Harlequin, baby. Um... I try to be mature when it comes to criticism, you know, except that even if something is not worded in, like, the most positive way, um, it, it, it can still be valuable insight, you know? It's, it, it still might be coming from a place of, A, like, love and respect, and B, you know, it, they might not be wrong, you know? It's the big Lebowski quote, you know? Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong, you're just an asshole, but, um... I learned it because of that. And I guess I'm, I'm thankful that that was an opportunity for me to learn without being too new agey about it. Um, oh, can't get in there yet. Uh, what it does is it gives you 0 0.3 damage up for every item that you have that's an evil upgrade. I don't know if we have any evil upgrades as of yet, but we can prioritize those in the future. And it only takes a couple for that to start to make a pretty nice difference. I mean, you know, nobody's going to be riding home over plus 0 0.3 damage, but if you can get plus 1.2, that's like you got the benefit of the evil up items, whatever they may have been. Plus, you got the uh, you got one small rock's worth and a little bit of extra damage out of it. So there's some good stuff going on there. I... I guess I'm really happy with Shoop the Whoop. I'm a little scared about our HP, but we didn't take a deal with the Devil on the last floor, and we've got to have Spirit Hearts. So if we get a deal with the Devil, which we will because of Goathead, um, we should be able to just uh, to just take it if we like it. This is a great room for us, actually. It's 11 bombs. I'm going to try to find some teleportation cards. Relatively low, you know, problem if we... Uh, Create more turrets. The turrets are ridiculous, by the way. Getting like 20 times the turrets versus cards. I can't believe I let myself get hit by a champion back there, by the way. Rest assured, I'm more embarrassed about that than you could ever be, the magician. Um, let's check our special room. Could have put that bomb in a better place for sure. Power pill. I found pills. Health down. That's a good one. Health up. All right. Um, we want Magician or Power Pill? Power Pill's got to be better for us. We should have used that uh, opportunity to actually go to the boss trap room, especially because we have time, but whatever. What's done is done. Plus, congratulations. Uh, you heard you got a son. I heard he looks like you. Why don't you shorty write you? Told her to visit. That's when she got hyper. Listen. Talk about he acts too rough. He didn't listen, he'd be killing while I'm telling him stuff. Something like that, you know, it's... 
It's one love by Nas, obviously. Bad time to fight Greed, but you know what? We'll take the Steam Sale regardless. But for real, where is my... Um, where is my card? My teleportation card? I, I mean, I have no problem doing Boss Rush for the second run in a row. I'm a little scared to do Boss Rush when we also have um, Curse of the Unknown. It just throws like a little bit of a monkey wrench into things, but I guess we'll see what items we have here, and then we'll see if Boss Rush, you know, even makes sense right now. It might be a terrible decision. There might be horrible items. Tinted Rock right here. Easy enough. Two Spirit Hearts deal with the Devil. This time is, uh, I guess you go... I mean, it's tough, right? Because the nail is huge for us here, but... I think we just stick with with this, honestly. And do we have a D4, Bob's Curse, Spoon Bender. I think I'm just going to ignore it for now. Because we did do Boss Rush last time. It's tough. The nail's like a guaranteed win, but I love the like agility that we get from the... I hate that we got two Curse of the Unknowns in a row. I love the agility that we get from uh, Shoop the Whoop. And by that, I don't mean that it gives us a speed upgrade necessarily. I mean that, uh, you know, we have extra speed at which we can finish the game as a result of this and it's not again i say this every time you're either going to believe it or you're not you know I'm, I'm preaching to the choir at some point here but it's not so i can get another isaac episode done it's just because fast runs are uh are fun a lot of the time now if it leads to us actually dying i'll feel like a moron obviously but um hopefully that doesn't end up being the case. Oh my god, the worst dodge of all time. Okay. Starting to get a little scared. The nail would have solved this problem. <laughs> oh well. Oh, two curse like it just starts to weigh on you mentally, man. Two curse of the unknown in a row should be like against the Geneva Convention of Isaac. There hasn't been a Geneva Convention of Isaac yet, but if there ever is, I'll tell you what. That's gonna be the first thing on the list here. Or there. I mean, we could hold it here in Vancouver. We've got a great conference center. You know, maybe not as large as you'd need it for the, the Isaac community, but I mean, it's a major city. And so people, you may not understand, let me allow you to um, learn learn a little bit about Canadian life. First off, I hope you know we don't live in igloos. Like, that's just, that's borderline offensive, if I'm being honest with you. Um, but Vancouver, they're like, hey, you got like, you guys have like Whole Foods in Vancouver? I'm like, my dog. It is a, it's a metropolitan area with like three million people. It's not larger than every American city, you know, it's not New York. It's a very large city, you know, like 10% of the Canadian population lives there almost. It's huge, it's modern, it's, it's got everything you can ask for, except good Tex-Mex. Admittedly. Uh, this is, a, this is scary. Thanks a lot, Curse of the Unknown. Because of you, I don't think we can take Horror of Babylon. I'm just gonna head down to the next floor. Next floor, please, no curse of the unknown. I beg you. Oh my God, we had so much HP. We totally could have taken Horror Babylon. Oh well. You know what? We had the Eternal Heart anyway, so Horror Babylon wouldn't have worked. Okay, I've gone through all the stages of, of emotion so quickly here, but that's fine. Horror Babylon was not the right play there because we actually wouldn't get any value out of it. We would just spend three Spirit Hearts, then be... If you're wondering, well, like, you had that Red Heart, you could have spent that on it. No, because that Red Heart was an Eternal Heart as of this time on the last floor. Alright, I was... This is why it's Cruel and Unusual Punishment, you know? The Curse of the Unknown makes you feel like you're, uh... You're wounded when you're actually totally strong. No, I'm sorry. I'm not dealing with your bullshit right now. You hit me recently. And for that, I will forget, but I will not forgive. That's probably the opposite of how that quote usually goes. And that's okay. It feels like it's probably, I was going to say, in this direction. Like, I'm just looking at the architecture of the floor. I'm like, I don't think it makes sense that there could be a small room connected to a secret room that's then connected to the boss room. But then again, I was like, isn't it impossible for secret rooms to border small rooms anyway? Like, how did that shit happen? That's not supposed to, it's supposed to be at least rare. So actually, that's piqued my curiosity. First, let's peep the secret room here. All right, it's got a battery charge. And then let's peep the um, the small room that has a secret room connected to it. And hopefully this won't break our game. It's, it's unusual uh, floor generation code, that's for sure. But eh, maybe not. 
Maybe I'm talking out of my ass. It seems to be working completely fine. Uh, this secret room is also like a complete waste of our time. Bad trip. Uh, not worth it. Will we fight Hush? You know, I'm, I'm thinking about it, admittedly. We got the keys necessary. We probably got the HP necessary. It is hard to justify going through with a Hush fight that could end your run. And thus end your streak. But this is kind of like, I think we get a, a nice advantage out of Deadeye for doing it. I don't know, though. That hit has made me question it a little bit. What's our deal with the devil like here? Empty vessel? I mean, empty vessel's pretty dope. Let's give it a shot. It's been a while, and you know what? You gotta put your money where your mouth is. What'd you say, NL? I like the danger. Let's do it. I like the danger. At least it's not Curse of the Unknown. Okay, uh, good start. Cricket's head is huge here. Everything else... I mean, face reward is okay, but Cricket's head is huge here. I'm not taking Dunce Cap. Got a lot of people angry at me for getting conjoined in Dunce Cap wrong. That's okay. Have it your way. I'm not taking Dunce Cap. I guess I'll take GB Bug. Uh, it's restock. So I think you first buy a Spirit Heart. And maybe buy two. Um... We can get a, we can get infinite items down here at half price. This is why a steam sale was like such a good pickup. I didn't really want that, unfortunately. That was an accident. Uh, let's take starter deck. We don't have chaos though. That's that's the problem. Mom's coin purse should give us four cards or runes. Algaze is so good. Devil, moon, spades. Okay, we'll start with uh, moon if possible. Ah, okay. Joker works. Moon doesn't. Algis, then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Algis, Algis? Yeah, why not, man? Okay. And we're just going to stick with shoot, shoot the Whoop, I guess. Two Algis runes? This this ended up working out pretty well. I didn't want to mine our donation machine just because I've used our donation machine way too aggressively lately anyway. I can't believe we got all those shots blocked there. That's amazing. First phase is going fine. Tough Love's doing occasional work. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's not bad. Maybe we should have worked for Nun's Habit, which would have allowed us to get some extra uh, charges here, obviously, but it is what it is. So I'm really going to pop these Algaz runes fairly aggressively, and the reasoning behind that for me personally here is, you know, the longer we spend with Dead Eye active, the better our life is. Really what we should have done is taken the Moon card in here, and then if... Um, Oh, we should get in there with our orbital, too. We should have taken the moon card in here. And then if we wanted to get out, like we thought we were going to lose, then we just leave. Buy as many spirit hearts as we need with our bombs and then get the fuck out of there, right? Just trying to keep the orbital on there. Also seeing, like, how long invincibility actually lasts here. It's about to run out. Now we'll wait until it looks like we're going to get hit again, and then we'll pop Algis. I do think it's pretty important to keep the uh, to keep Dead Eye going as long as possible. Oh, and Empty Vessels give well gave us very brief period of invincibility there. That's okay. As long as we're still hitting. I wonder if Loki's horns kills the Dead Eye bonus a little bit because inevitably, like sometimes when we shoot four shots, all of them are gonna miss. That was not very smart of me. Probably, like, now is when we pop Algis. It buys us a decent amount of time. As long as he doesn't spend too much time underground, we should be okay here. And honestly, like, these two Algis runes have made this fight pretty trivial. It looked like it might be slightly dangerous for a little while there, but, you know, now we're, we're totally fine. Might take a few more hits. You know, it happens. Almost done with it, though. Okay, you should stop firing there. We could have gotten the bonus to last a little longer. Okay, let's save some bombs. I wouldn't mind being able to bomb my way out of some shitty rooms on the cathedral. Okay, we're almost out of invincibility. We should have the speed necessary to get out of the way here. Do I want to do anything else in the shop? I mean, it might be fun to take Nun's Habit with Shoop the Whoop. We could use it, like, almost every room, but... The thing I would actually feel like most comfortable doing is just buying a bunch of spirit hearts. I don't think we need to. Like, I think our donation machine should be fine. Like, or we should be fine, and that lets our donation machine stay fine as well. Alright, let's keep it moving here. 
Two keys. Yes, that's actually very important. Uh, Black Feather, by the way, hasn't really provided us with any value whatsoever. But it's the thought that counts. Getting a black card for effectively no reason there felt pretty awesome. Emperor? Hierophant. Also great. We got flying, we got invincibility, we got good damage. This run has just been like top to bottom solid. It's not blowing the doors off, it's not winning any time trials, it's not going to get me invited to SGDQ or something like that, but it's, um, it's pretty good. I wonder if they'll ever let, uh, Isaac into SGDQ again. It's not like a big issue necessarily, but, uh, I know they had the original Isaac in there. Um, it might have been at AGD. I think Awesome Games Done Quick, you know, Summer Games Done Quick, you know, the, the charity speedrun marathons. Um, but from what I understood, they kind of got shit runs. Like, they were they were doing unseated runs. And the run just kind of sucked. Not to say that the person doing it sucked, you know, probably better than I am. But, you know, every once in a while, you just you, you roll across a seed that's hot trash and you just uh, find yourself in a bad spot. So, I wonder if they'll ever let it back. Probably, you know, maybe eventually. I'm not saying they're holding it against it now. It's more so like... Well, we just did it like a year and a half ago. We don't need to do it again just yet. I don't think I would be the guy, though. But if they need somebody to go and play the Binding of Isaac Rebirth in the 3 to 3.30 a.m. slot, local time, I could be that person for you if you need it. But you'd, you'd probably, volunteers would be out of control, I imagine. Oh, that is indeed where our boss room is. We got Empress. I mean, we have starter deck, so we can... Uh, Wow, that's a lot of damage. We have starter decks so we can uh, hold two cards. The Lovers does very little for us. Uh, but the Empress card is, is beautiful. So there's a lot of invincibility there. That must be thanks to uh, Empty Vessel. Because the Polaroid invincibility doesn't last that long. Curse of Darkness is like the ideal curse to have here. And Tractor Beam... Charm Tears, Evil Eye, along with the Mom Transformation. That's pretty good, honestly. Tractor Beam is going to be great for Dead Eye, and uh, Evil Eye just kind of does its own thing. It doesn't get affected too much by the Tractor Beam, but still, like this is a relatively solid pickup. These are cool tier effects. These are the kind of Isaac runs I really like. You know, you get semi-novel kind of effects that happen due to synergies between items. We're really seeing the power of Dead Eye. We're seeing the power of Tractor Beam. This has just been like an all-around satisfying run. And you know what? Strange Attractor is like the perfect item to fit into that mold uh, in the future here. It's also the perfect item to get us hit, like, way more than we'd like to be hit, but that's that's part of the cost of doing business from time to time. I mean, sure, Unicorn Stump, you know, it's obviously good, but it's it's not quite that fun for us in this situation, I think. Um, that might have actually, like, no, it wouldn't be our boss room, but it could be close. Uh, Strange Attractor is great here because it actually um, will suck enemies into the beam, I think. I think. Seems to still be the right way. I'm not using uh, Shoop the Whoop just because it seems like we haven't really had a good pretense to use Shoop the Whoop. I mean, like, we're doing just fine here. Enemies are getting stuck in a line where they get hit by even more damage than we can do with Shoop the Whoop. And then pop the Empress, pop Shoop the Whoop. And, I mean, it's not quite as much damage as it did against Isaac. I was really excited about that Isaac damage, but this is the real shit right here. Even if we get hit, it matters not. That's going to be win number 13. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.